Japanese yen, 600 million or around 235 million pesos, will help boost the efforts of our Department of National Defense in securing coastal radars for our armed forces to enhance the maritime domain awareness capability and maritime security. Magandang araw mga ka-aerial defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan. Japan nagbigay ng bagong armas sa Pilipinas at tutulong na rin maresolba ang gulo sa West Philippine Sea, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Ang Pilipinas at Japan ay pumasok sa isang bilateral defense pact na magbibigay daan sa pagbabahagi ng pagsasanay at operasyong militar sa pagitan ng mga tropa ng magkabilang panig, habang binanggit ni Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida ang isang complex international situation sa kanyang pagbisita sa Maynila. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome His Excellency, His Excellency Kishida Fumio, the Prime Minister of Japan, today here at Malacanang Palace. His visit marks another important milestone in the strategic partnership between our two countries. It is a testament to the strong commitment of both countries to further strengthen our bilateral relations. We are honored by Prime Minister Kishida's return official visit to the Philippines. We had a very productive and insightful discussion that covered many important aspects of our bilateral relations and how we can further work together to reach our full potential. Our talks have been wide-ranging, covering political, security, defense, trade and investment, development, and people-to-people -people ties. These wide-ranging discussions are a manifestation of how robust our bilateral relations have become in the last 67 years. Our official engagements with Japan have expanded in the past decades to include cooperation between and among our Coast Guards as well as our armed forces. We have gone beyond traditional exchanges and interactions with Japan participating in several, several humanitarian assistance and disaster response exercises in the Philippines. Today, key agreements have been signed that will propel the momentum of our bila bilateral relations in the next coming years, building on the joint statement issued on 9 February 2023 following my official visit to Japan. Counting on our active framework of defense and security cooperation, there was an exchange of notes on the official security assistance from Japan to the government of the Republic of the Philippines. This OSA will further enhance the military capacities of our countries, including the Philippines, which shares common security concerns with Japan. The OSA grant worth uh, Japanese yen 600 million or around 235 million pesos will help boost the efforts of our Department of National Defense in securing coastal radars for our armed forces to enhance the maritime domain awareness capability and maritime security. I also would like to recall our commitment to work on a framework for our status of visiting forces or the proposed reciprocal access agreement, RAA, with Japan. We are cognizant of the benefits of having this arrangement, both to our defense and military personnel and to maintaining peace and stability in our region. As leaders of like-minded states, we affirm our commitment to peaceful negotiations to resolve maritime conflicts and the need for a stable and secure environment for mutually inclusive growth and development for our peoples. Magadang gabi po sa inyong lahat. え、本年2月の、マルクス大統領の訪日に続き、今回は私がソリ大臣として初めてフィリピンを訪問し、マルクス大統領と首脳会談を実施することができたこと、大変嬉しく思っております。Following President Marcos' visit to Japan in February this year, I'm very pleased to be able to visit the Philippines for the first time as a Prime Minister and to be able to hold a leaders' meeting with President Marcos. 
二国,間関係二国間協力、また地域、国際社会の、まあ、諸問題への対応について、胸襟を開いて、えー、意見交換を行いました。えー、本年2月の、まあ、共同声明、えー、で表明した幅広い分野での協力が着実に、まあ、進展していることを確認することができました。At the meeting, we held open minded discussions on bilateral cooperation and responses to various regional and international issues, and we are able to confirm that we are making steady progress in broad areas of cooperation expressed in the joint statement of February this year. Mazu, Masu, Masu, Kibishku, Fukuzaska, Steak, Manze, Hosho, Kankyo, Nonaka, de, Kono, この安全保障分野での連携、これ、ますます進化しています。特に、本年、新たに立ち上げた政府安全保障能力強化支援、OSA の第1号案件として、フィリピンの沿岸監視レーダーの供与に合意できたこと、これを嬉しく思っています。First of all, under the increasingly severe and complex international situation, we are deepening our cooperation in the area of security. And in particular, I am happy that we are able to agree on the provision of a coastal surveillance radar to the Philippines as the first project under the newly launched Official Security Assistance, OSA, this year. また、部隊間協力円滑化協定、RAA の交渉開始を決定したほか、日米非3カ国の協力をさらに強化していくことでも一致をしました、さらに、巡視船供与を含むフィリピンの海上法執行能力向上に資する協力。警戒管制レーダーの移転を含む防衛装備技術協力を一層進めていくことも確認をいたしました。And further, a decision was made to start negotiations on the Reciprocal Access Agreement, RAA, and agreed to further strengthen trilateral cooperation among Japan, United States, and the Philippines. We also confirmed to further promote cooperation to improve the Philippines' maritime law enforcement capabilities, including the provision of patrol vessels and defense equipment and technology cooperation, including the transfer of warning and control radar. まあ、こうしたフィリピンとの具体的な協力を通じて、法の支配に基づく自由で開かれた国際秩序を維持・強化し、人間の尊厳が守られる世界を確保していきたいと思っています。And we want to secure a world where the dignity of the people can be maintained and secure peace and safety in the world through international cooperation, such as cooperation that we have with the Philippines.12 月には東京で日 ASEAN 友好協力50周年特別首脳会議にマルコス大統領を改めて日本にお迎えします。ASEAN との関係強化のみならず、本日の議論を踏まえ、フィリピンとの二国間関係をさらに発展させることを楽しみにしております。So in December, I will once again welcome President Marcos to Japan for the commemorative summit for the 50th year of ASEAN Japan Friendship and Cooperation in Tokyo. And I'm looking forward not only to strengthen our relationship with ASEAN, but also to further develop our bilateral relationship with the Philippines based on today's discussion. Once again, we extend our heartfelt Thanks, heartfelt thanks to the Prime Minister and his delegation for his fruitful and meaningful visit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sa magkasanig na pahayag kay Pangulong Marcos pagkatapos ng kanilang bilateral meeting biyernes ng gabi, 
Inihayag ni Kashida na isang desisyon ang ginawa nila upang simulan ang negosasyon ng isang Reciprocal Access Agreement o RAA. Ang RAA ay isang kasunduan sa pagtatanggol at seguridad sa pagitan ng Japan at isang kasosyong bansa upang ibahagi ang pagsasanay at operasyong militar. Gagawa rin ito ng isang balangkas para sa magkabilang panig upang ilipat ang kanilang mga tropa kung kailan kinakailangan, pati na rin ang isang paraan para sa mga kalakal na e-import at e-export mula sa isang bansa patungo sa isa. Sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod sa paggalaw ng mga bumibisitang puwersang militar, ang Pilipinas ang ikatlong bansa kung saan pumasok ang Japan sa naturang kasunduan, ang iba ay ang Australia at United Kingdom, sa kanyang pakikipag-usap kay Marcos, sinabi ni Kashida na nagkaroon siya ng open-minded discussion sa kanyang Filipino counterpart tungkol sa bilateral na kooperasyon, at pagtugon sa iba't ibang isyu sa rehiyon at internasyonal, na nagbigay daan sa kanila na kumpirmahin na mayroong steady progress sa relasyon ng magkabilang panig. Sinabi ng pinuno ng Japan na pinalalalim ng Japan at Pilipinas ang kanilang relasyon sa seguridad dahil sa increasingly serious and complex international situation, ang Japan ay isa sa mga bansang bumukas sa pagsuporta sa Pilipinas sa pakikipaglaban para sa soberanya sa West Philippine Sea, sinabi ni Kashida na magkasundurin ang dalawang bansa na isulong ang mga ugnayan upang mapabuti ang kakayahan ng Pilipinas sa pagpapatupad ng batas sa dagat, sa pamamagitan ng probisyon ng Japan sa Pilipinas ng mga patrol vessel at kagamitan sa pagtatanggol, at ang pagsulong ng kooperasyon sa teknolohiya sa pamamagitan ng paglilipat ng mga warning and control system radar, tiniyak din ni Kashida sa Pilipinas na magpapatuloy ang Japan sa kanilang pampublikong pribadong suporta, para sa pagpapaunlad ng infrastruktura alinsunod sa patakarang Build Better More ni Pangulong Marcos, dumating si Kashida sa Maynila noong biyernes para sa isang serye ng mga aktibidad sa Maynila, kabilang ang isang sit-down kasama si Marcos at isang talumpati sa pagitan ng joint session ng Kongreso, Ayon sa Department of Foreign Affairs, muling pinagtibay ni na Marcos at Kashida ang strategic partnership ng dalawang bansa na transformative at forward-looking. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, pwede ka manalo ng pera or load dito kapag ikaw ay naging top fan nito at napili, wag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, Share, and subscribe. Pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.